Hello, this is Mark Perry. And basically what I have here is I have a contact with a uh, override switch. And override switch just allows me to turn off the horn strobe in the event that uh, it needs to be serviced or it becomes serviceable. So the whole point of this is uh, when you're on the rooftop and somebody's walking around out here, the whole point is that uh, the lights click in as they did, and it's basically from a from up here. I have a uh, have this fixture in, in test mode, as you can see, the lights are on now, and uh, basically it's to cover all these air conditioners that this customer has on this rooftop. So you can see it's a pretty good size roof. There's about uh, eight units up here. Um, the lighting is a little bit better than what you see here. But the whole point is to um, basically protect his property. So a lot of times I have it in test mode now. What I'll do is I'll just walk around and uh, as long as I move, these lights stay on. Normally I have a horn strobe attached to them, but uh, during this process I usually don't, just so that there's not uh, too many eyes staring at me up here. And then again, it's a pretty good sized rooftop, so it's a lot, a lot of area to cover. So typically I'll walk around this rooftop, and as I do, it sets off these uh, motion sensors. Basically have them positioned a certain way that cover as much movement on the roof as possible. And uh, basically it'll cover a unit way over here, which is probably about 60 feet away. And the whole point is to deter to deter any criminal activity up on a rooftop because people are taking this copper. So uh, sometimes it's kind of difficult to fine tune the, you know, here's this AC back here, is to fine tune the uh, positioning of these sensors, but you don't want them to go off accidentally all the time. So as normally as I walk across this roof, I'll leave it on test mode. And I don't know if you can hear the contact inside going off, but uh, every time the motion sensor picks up movement, basically it uh, sets off this light. And at the same time, it has a horn strobe, which I do have isolated right now, so it's not uh, attracting unnecessary attention. So normally I'll just stand in one spot, start to move around, trying to cover as much of the rooftop as possible. And uh, as you can see, and possibly here, it works pretty well. There is a unit way over here, and sometimes it's best to uh, add more sensors because you don't want to necessarily just add a sensor and uh, max it out because it could pick up a little too much work. Too much movement, I should say. But as you can see, I've covered quite a bit of this area on the roof. And again, the whole point is just to help protect the investor, uh, the investor's um, property on the roof, because people are scrapping a lot of the material up here for the copper. And uh, it's unfortunate, but it is a reality. And uh, so what I'll do now is I'll go over towards the control room, another AC right here, go over to the control room, and what we'll do is we'll activate the strobe horn, so I'll put that on here, and now instead of just lighting, as we come out here, you'll get the annoying uh, horn strobe, and again the whole point is to distract people from sitting up here, because as they do this, they're obviously uh, not enjoying the sound, and again, I have it in test mode, so normally I'll set it for about a minute, just in the event uh, there's a false alarm or birds are flying on the roof or something, but then again, there it is, and on the back side, I've got a strobe right back there. So it's a neat product. Uh, the tough part about these, though, is sometimes there are false alarms. So that is one of the reasons why 
I do put in a uh, an override switch which is right in here, and then basically just turn it off. This room in here, which is a control room, um, it would have its own alarm system as well, so uh, that would help eliminate the problem of somebody simply coming in there and shutting it off. But that's basically the concept. Very affordable, not completely foolproof, but definitely a deterrent. And again, this is Mark Perry of Mark Perry Electrical, and uh, this is really a neat, a neat product. Covers his ACs over there. As long as I move, it normally stays on during test mode. There's an AC over there, and there's a couple up here. So that's primarily it. Uh, give me a call if you like one of these systems, and I'd be more than happy to uh, give you a price. Thank you. This is Mark Perry, Mark Perry Electrical.